Well, you'll probably notice I'm a little banged up this morning. Well, I had a little ranching mishap while we were working some steers yesterday, but I, I think I'm okay. Everything seems to be all right, and so I'm thankful that it wasn't worse than it was. It's just one of those hazards of, of working, and uh, it seems like in the past, whether I've been a logger which I did for many years, and sawmilling. There's, uh, there's some risks to that. Even though I have all 10 fingers, they're not all the same. They're not, <laughs> they're not all the same size. Uh, or ranching, there's hazards that go along with it. And we thank the Lord that it wasn't any worse. And I thought of, oh, maybe I shouldn't do my verse and Bible reading today. But I thought, well, hopefully you won't mind me continuing to do it because we're getting into some exciting stuff here in Romans 6. Um, I want to thank those that are on here that have signed up for our Patreon group. We had several sign on in the last little bit and for those of you who are, who are unfamiliar, it's just a way that you can get behind the scenes action behind the scenes news and songs and videos that others don't get in exchange for a, a monthly contribution for as low as five dollars and higher if you if you wish to support us in that way and we really do appreciate that we um, that gives us an opportunity to kind of know what our income is looking like um, music wise for a particular uh, month and it lets us know, you know, how much time that maybe we're going to be able to spend with it. There's also our Facebook subscriber group that I've been sharing links to. And that's much the same thing. It's for $4.99 a month. And again, you get behind the scenes looks at and stories about maybe how this happened. <laughs> but anyways, thank you. Continue to pray for us and our family. And we're going to continue to pray for you. And like I've said before, if you have prayer requests that you feel you want to unburden, you know, you can sure let us know. There's many on here that would pray for you. And we've got a good family of listeners here that will uphold you in prayer, that will encourage you. Or you could message us privately too, if that's what you would like. But I am sure glad that you came to join me this morning or this evening, wherever you might be all around the world. I'm just so happy that you're taking the time to spend in the Word and worship the Lord in song. I have a song that I would like to share with you this morning. We sang it in our prayer meeting last night, and it's, it's a good one. It's called, There's a Longing in My Heart for Jesus. There's a longing in my heart for Jesus. There's a longing in I am weary, oh so weary, of traveling here below. There's a longing in my heart for Him. There's a longing in my heart for Jesus. There's a longing in my heart to see His face. I am weary. traveling here below there's a longing in my heart for him there's a longing in my heart for Jesus there's a longing in my heart to see his face I am weary oh so weary of traveling There's a longing in my heart for Him. Amen. I hope that there's a longing in your heart for Jesus this morning. You know, I, I've said this before. If things are going too well for you or for me in this life, I would venture to say 
that our walk with God maybe isn't where it could be. Paul says in, I forget where, maybe it's Peter, but all those who, uh, who will follow the Lord will suffer persecutions. I don't have that quite word for word. So if we're not fighting against something in our day-to-day -day life, then maybe I'm compromising too much. It's just a thought. Oh, <clears throat> I see people commenting from all over, and I will try and get back to that um, after we finish, and I'll, I'll try and answer them back. I haven't been very good answering very many uh, comments back. It just takes up a... Uh, it depends on my date, right? So I will try and answer these back because I am so happy that you're with me today. I appreciate the support that you give. So like I said, we're going to read from Romans 6. And you can read out of whatever version or translation or language that you want. I see there's some from Norway and Sweden. Um, I should have got out my Norwegian Bible. And uh, you could help me. You could have helped me with that. But I'm going to read from the King James, and it's just my. It's just what I grew up with, and I appreciate it. But as long as you are in the Holy Spirit, I know I say this every day, but it's just so important that we connect with the author of the book because he's the one that can explain things to us. He's the one that can evoke change and uh, all these things. So we're going to pray, Father, we want to thank you that you have revealed to us in your word so many wonderful things. And there's so much more to learn. We just pray that you would give us a heart that's soft and pliable in order to change in the way that you would have us to change. Lord, make us more like you and help us to see your face. Amen. Okay. Romans 6, starting from verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. I love that. Verse 5. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more, death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, verse 11, reckon ye yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lusts thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Oh, any of us that are struggling with sin, you don't owe, you don't owe it anymore. It has no dominion over you. Verse 15. What then? Shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. 
or that's craziness. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom you obey? Whether of sin unto death, or of obedience unto righteousness? But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being made then free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruit unto holiness. And the end? Everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, we, uh, we as children, we all memorized a verse that we said in the Sunday morning service. And as we got a little older, maybe some of us got lax in remembering a verse. But in the church building, which happened to be the basement of, of a neighbor's home, on the wall was Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, and the, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If any of us forgot to memorize a verse, well, we could just look up there and read that one. So, it was revealing. <laughs>